Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the uh, bypass XSS sanitization. Uh, this is our ongoing series on the XSS bypass, and today we're going to see uh, what are the, some of the filters that, like you know, sanitize or not even block the XSS payload, but the sanitize it. Uh, the, and the most common is the HTML encoding. So we're going to see some of the examples and see how do we bypass those. So uh, we all know what's the blocking versus sanitization, right? So blocking is something as soon as application detects or the filter detects uh, something uh, malicious payload such as script alert one, it completely blocks the payload rather than sanitizing it. And when I say sanitizing, uh, it means like, you know, uh, the suspicious character such as less than and greater than sign uh it would like you know convert into this lt m person lt colon and m person gt colon uh, the greater than right so that, that's a sanitization now the question arises is this enough or like can we bypass uh of course i think this is not enough uh, because sometimes like you know as a pen tester if i see this in the response uh people start assuming oh they are doing that due diligence and there is no way we can bypass this one. But no, you still have to do a little more uh, tricks and you might get lucky to bypass this one. So uh, the common filter technique, uh, what generally it works is a filter may manipulate your vector by removing like, you know, malicious keywords such as like it will remove just a script tag here. But it will only remove the first instance of it. So, for example, uh, like you know, uh, that's a common behavior that only removes the first matched expression rather than going through the entire payload and then removing all the relevant one. So, if you see the example, if I put a payload such as this one, and and to bypass this one, so for example, in this example, it will remove the script uh, or like you know sanitize the script and replace with the LTGT. But what if I put this one? So it will like you know encounter the first script tag. It will sanitize that one, but the other one which I have a script within the script, it will like you know it's since it is not a recursive check, it will still be able to bypass. And it will still get executed. <clears throat> so that's that's the like you know uh, core thing uh, you need to find out whether. So that's the first thing you need to uh, check whether the filter technique is uh, like a recursive or not not a recursive. It would if it's just looking for the first instance, then yeah, you can easily bypass. Now, what if it's recursive? Uh, can we bypass those? Yes, absolutely. So if the filter performs the recursive checks, uh, you should always inspect uh, whether it is still exploitable because maybe changing the order of how you inject the strings may work in your favor, right? So it may be possible uh, that the recursive checks are in sequence. So uh, as you can see, the string here, uh, it, like, you know, it only looks for the script tag and only does in the sequence, it does not go uh, like an out of sequence. So, for example, they start with the script tag, then the next one, and so on, without restarting again from the first two check if there are no more malicious strings. Of course, if we already know or are able to guess the sequence, then we could create more complex vectors and maybe use several characters encoding, as we've seen, like you know, in the first or second episode of our XSS bypass series use the character encoding techniques to bypass the blacklist filter section. So uh, it all depends uh, on the filter that we are facing. So uh, as you can see, like, you know, here, if the, if, it, if the check is recursive but in sequence, we can bypass using the string. Now, many of such examples are available on the OWASP uh, cheat sheet page uh, by Arsnake, uh, of course. Uh, but probably, like, you know, some of this, uh, you don't know when you're looking at all these different payloads or bypass, you don't realize where to use what. So that's what I'm trying to help you guys. Like, if you encounter this thing, then maybe you can use this sort of bypass techniques. Of course, you can create your own. You can use the encoding. You can do all sort of different variations. And we cannot cover all these possible scenarios, but I just wanted to give you some information. Uh, so that's uh, that's the all the techniques or uh, bypass techniques I wanted to uh, uh, like you know uh, convey in this video. But yeah, if you if you have 
come across any other techniques or if you have used any other payloads, uh, feel free to recommend. Feel free to uh, drop it into the comment section, and, and and like you know, it will be helpful for everyone to learn. And also uh, check out our Facebook page. Uh, the link is in the description where we post like you know uh, some interesting articles and up updates to our uh, episode weekly episodes. And don't forget to thumbs up uh, on this video uh, if you like it. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.